Matt Hazard, famous video game icon from, say, 82 onward-ish, uh, needs to be sort of reinvented into this new gaming environment. Uh, my character, Wally, is uh, the CEO of a new company, has bought the rights to the video game, has created his own game, uh, of which Matt Hazard is a, is a participant of it. He's trying to just destroy Matt Hazard because he hates him. The Matt Hazard game is the one game that Wally couldn't beat when he was a kid. Yeah. Me another clip. So now that he's a grown man, single, kind of sad, he's uh, he wants to use his financial prowess to destroy the one thing that he couldn't get when he was younger. Not unlike Bill Gates. QA, what the hell was that? That was a code glitch. Somebody is hacking the game code, changing something in the level, and it's not me. Doesn't look like anything's changed. Uh-oh. It's a very strange process, this. Because you have to not only do your lines that are in the little cinematic moments between scenes and whatnot, but you're playing a character. So you have to bank all of these random voices and sounds that your character would say. So you have to give them lots of oofs and uggs. That's a brilliant plan! Ideas like this are why I'm going to be the best game company CEO in history! Well, I got very shrill with it, you know, but I think that's the idea. Because, uh, you know, Will's got that voice that's very deep and low. So you can't go too deep and low with it. So it was all, like, sh uh, pitchy and shrill. I hope I don't sound too thin and insane. Then again, I'm playing a sh thin and insane guy, so maybe it works. The nature of a video game, it seems, the structure of it is so different from a movie. You know, you, you have to be quasi-cinematic, but you're also creating a virtual world where, hypothetically, someone can wander about it and pick up and interact with anything. That's different from a film, obviously, where you have a narrative. So, it's interesting to see where, where it's all going. The technology end of it just fascinates me. I just bought a Wii Fit. You know, you can hula hoop on that thing. Son of a... If I didn't know better, I'd say that was Jebediah Bedlam, leader of the Bedlam Boys. You mean that gang of bandits you fought in A Fistful of Hazard? Yup. Looks like whoever's out to get me is turning this into a who's who of my back catalog enemies. I take it you can deal with him? No problem at all. I, I think they're interesting. I like the sense of humor level. It's amazing now that between levels, you know, that the scenes that they do with and the, the, the graphics and the technology that they have now, it's almost like watching scenes from movies, pretty much. The process for me is very exciting because I get to record these lines and then, and then forget that I even did this. And then a year, a year and a half later, all of a sudden, like, oh my gosh, I was in this thing. So it's fun. I like that, uh, that you do it, and then an a, a asinine amount of time goes by, and then it finally comes out. It's kind of cool. It's like a Christmas present.